Happy Friday, folks. Welcome to College Football Time with Avery and Miguel. Avery, we in week six. Week six. Six is the number of the rings that Michael Jordan has. <laughs> <laughs> number six. And um, I got to say, I'm very happy that you pick Navy versus Air Force to talk about because this is one of those matchups that I'm looking forward to to watch this weekend. And the fact that it's at 12 p.m., this game, I mean, Avery, as I got older, I've grown to appreciate men of service, servicemen, people that have put their lives, their everything on the line for this country. And when it comes to – and look what Army and Navy are doing. They're both 4-0 this season for the first time since 1945. It's so unbelievable that we're seeing this in our lifetime. It, but, it's, um, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. I completely agree with you. I think a lot of people have overlooked the, the service schools in terms of, you know, even athletics. But you have to remember uh, these men and women who are going to serve our country are also bringing something else to the table before they put on that uniform to defend our country. And I love, um, every time when I watch the highlights, I love when they focus on the crowd and how exciting and crazy. Mm -hmm. Ugh, it, it gives me goosebumps. So it's just, it's just amazing, amazing. Um, when you're young, you don't really understand that. You don't fully grasp it. But it's when you get older and you start appreciating those th those things especially if you do love this country and you were born in this country you appreciate those things so i always knew that army and navy college football was always there but it wasn't until you know now as i got older that i've grown to appreciate um what they bring to the table so the navy versus air force i am so looking forward to this matchup avery I thank you once again for picking this. I did not see that coming, but I'm glad you did. Um, but hey, Air Force, although they have a four-game winning streak going on against Navy, but I do feel that, and this is no not to Air Force, but I feel that this year Navy is the more superior team. I feel that they are due to win, and I feel that they're going to do it tomorrow. And um and these two teams, you know, in college football, they're rivals. So um, this is going to be their 57th meeting of all time between Navy and Air Force. And Navy, they're number seventh in rush yards per game. Navy hasn't won in Colorado since 2012. And they haven't beaten um, Air Force since 2019. But... um. I do pick Navy to win this game. I feel that they're due to win at some point during this meeting. And hopefully it happens tomorrow because the last four games, they were outscored 93 to 26. And Air Force outscored them 93 to 26. And they've allowed just 169 yards per game. So I have Navy winning this game. I'm going to give Air Force respect, so I'm going to give Navy 28 to 23. Very respectable, um, considering even though with Air Force record of one and three, um, they they this, this game could be their breakout. Knowing mm -hmm. how they've dominated against Navy, I think they feel this is their breakout because right now they only average about 13 points a game. Navy, on the other hand, they're averaging 49 points a game. They have been absolutely stellar when it comes to scoring. And like we said, because the service schools have been doing really well when I saw this matchup, I felt since we had mentioned it before, why not showcase these schools? Especially if you're going to start your day on a Saturday of watching college football like I do, why not at noon to watch, you know, these two great service schools? Um, they have Navy uh, a 70% favorite versus, you know, 30% for Air Force. The over-under is 36. 
So even though they don't see this as a high scoring game, I think Air Force can kind of break out a bit knowing that they have that great record versus Navy. But I still think that Navy is just going to start, you know, controlling the offense and controlling the scoring from the get go. Navy's quarterback, Blake Harthut, he has uh, 637 yards. He has seven touchdowns, one inter one interception. He's doing very well so far. So I think this could be really great for him knowing the record that they have against Air Force and since they're playing at the academy in Colorado. So I also agree with you. I am going to go with Navy on this one to bring their record to 5-0. I think, I think they're having a great start and we need to not only support their school, but we need to support our service schools too. So, but on this one, I'm going to go a bit higher. I'm going to say that both teams are just going to, Air Force is going to break out of that slump, but Air Force is going to take over. So I'm going to say Navy is going to win 35, but I think Air Force is now going to get out of that scoring slump. And I'm going to say they're going to go with 28. So still going with Navy, but I'm going to go with a bit of a more higher scoring. Navy 35. Air Force 28. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to see that game. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's one of those um, must-watch games for me for this particular weekend. Rutgers versus Nebraska. This one is interesting. A lot of people, um, I would say, they're not giving Rutgers much respect for this matchup. Nebraska, I feel that they need to stay away from the from the field goal situations if they want to win this game. This is going to be an interesting one. I have a feeling that it's going to be tight, and I want it to be tight between Rutgers and Nebraska. I oof, it's it's tough. It's tough, but I'm gonna say. Rutgers will win 29 to 27. I agree with you. I think this game is going to be close. And I like the fact that, you know, these two teams are kind of under the radar. Um, Matt Rule, when he took over Nebraska um, after his stint at the Colorado Pan uh, Carolina Panthers, excuse me, in the NFL. Um, even going back to college, uh, a lot of people didn't give him um, uh, a little bit respect as well as some credit, but he has done fairly well now going into his second season with Nebraska. They're three and one. Their only loss is an overtime victory against Illinois, and that's probably their that were their best game that they lost. Rutgers, and we mentioned this with our uh, weekend wrap up on Monday. You have these teams in these conferences where some teams or analysts may not cover them well, or they may not think they're um, important on the schedule, but they're kind of like that tag in your shirt that you just can't, you just can't pull out and it just annoys you. And occasionally you get those teams that are on the schedule that you don't pay attention to and you're kind of prepared, but then all of a sudden they run, you know, a uh, rough shot over you. And that's what, you know, Rutgers is kind of looking at right now with their, with their four and start. They're playing very solid. Their quarterback, Alan Kalamananis. And I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> I listened to this name three times over 700 yards, seven touchdowns, one interception, consistent you know you know a solid consistency also a good target as well as running back for Rutgers Kyle Menegay he's got over 500 yards rushing as well so I look for these two gentlemen to start off the scoring to give Nebraska a reminder of you're doing very well 
but let's see how how further you can take the season because on paper they have Nebraska ESPN has Nebraska as uh 65.6% with Rutgers only 34 um but I I I think ne Nebraska has a lot of talent especially at their quarterback position the quarterback uh Rayola he's got over a thousand yards already and we're in week six you know nine touchdowns doing fairly well consistent like I said their only loss is Illinois in overtime I see this game being really close and I like your score but I'm gonna go a bit higher on this one also I'm going to swing it back. I'm going to go with Rutgers on this one. There's something about Rutgers that I think they're going to tap in against Nebraska and they're going to take control. And I'm and I'm and I'm and once again I'm going to go high on this one. The over under is like 45. But I'm going to go a bit higher. I'm going to go Rutgers 40 Nebraska 35. 